Hi, my name is Dr. Effie Pappas-Politis. I am a plastic surgeon here at Florida Hospital, North Pinellas, and today I'd like to discuss blepharoplasty, also known as eyelid surgery. In my practice, I often encounter patients with concerns for upper face rejuvenation. This typically involves the eyes. As we know, the eyes are the gateway to the face. They often can reveal whether you are tired or sad, so rejuvenation often provides a high satisfaction rate. This typically involves an upper or a lower blepharoplasty, which is an eyelid lift with selective fat removal. Typically, this procedure is performed for aesthetic reasons, but I also see quite a few patients who have a functional reason. Functional issues that my patients encounter, which inhibit their line of sight, is brow ptosis, or droopy brow, excess lid skin on their upper lid, as well as eyelid ptosis, or drooping of the eyelids. Typically, the procedure involves removing excess skin from the upper or lower lids, as well as selective fat removal. The procedure is generally tolerated very well. Postoperatively, you can expect some swelling and bruising. However, this typically resolves in two to four weeks. The lower lids take a little bit more recovery time, approximately four to six weeks. This is an outpatient procedure. You will be going home the same day with some light ice packs to your eyes, and generally showering can be resumed one day after the procedure. With an upper lid blepharoplasty, you can expect an incision just above your eyelashes of your upper lid. Typically, we like to preserve a fold or an area to place makeup. In addition, with the lower eyelids, the incision is hidden just underneath the eyelashes and provides a nice contour. The key to this surgery is being very conservative. Some of the potential complications you can run into is over-resection of the upper eyelid skin, which can leave you with dry eye symptoms since your eyes will not close correctly. In addition, over-resection of the lower eyelid skin can also leave you with a condition called ectropion, which is an eversion of the lower lid, again causing significant irritation. Lastly, if you are undergoing both an upper eyelid and lower eyelid surgery, there could be potential changes to the lateral corners of your eyes. A blepharoplasty has a very high satisfaction rate. The results are permanent and patients are very happy that they feel rejuvenated, rested, and refreshed. In addition, if performed for functional reasons, the patients are extremely happy that they can see better while driving or at night when reading. Thank you for spending time with me today. I hope I've addressed some of your questions and concerns. I am happy to meet with you one-on-one -on -one to go through some of your particular interests. Please contact us at 727-934-6797 or on the web at epipapaspolitis.com and you can also like us on Facebook.